Hi, my name is Johan Falk. This is a screencast uh, talking about the site LearnDrupal.org, which is also a distribution that you can download and install. Uh, you find it at, uh, well, the project name is Learn. Uh, this is a site where you can uh, learn Drupal stuff. Um, and on this site there are lessons uh, that you can, well, let's look at this Drupal ladder here. Lessons collected in curriculum or, or ladders where you start uh, with some easy tasks and then go up and uh, in this case the idea is that you should be able to contribute to Drupal core when you have done all these lessons. Uh, good idea, uh, I have, but I have some uh, suggestions and ideas for how to improve, uh, improve the site and this uh, distribution. Um, and I want to talk about this in this screencast. Um, uh, I got these ideas from, uh, well, from my own work, partly, um, talking about the inspiration I have here uh, for, for the ideas. I made a few hundred screencasts about Drupal, and um, I think they're uh, good in many ways, um, and it seems other people find them good as well, but they are starting to get difficult to navigate. Uh, it's a lot of content, and I've tried to, manage, well, tried to get them into collections, like these ladders on uh, learndrupal.org uh, where you start with uh, easy stuff and then go through uh, a whole module or a bit of how to code for Drupal or using Drupal core or what, whatever. This is basically uh, advanced type build, but it doesn't really matter uh, because I've done kind of ladders uh, on this site and they are getting difficult to navigate. And this is kind of similar uh, to, well, the Drupal uh, documentation uh, which is like uh, really big and difficult to navigate and di difficult to maintain uh, and it's really difficult to find good stuff in it. Well, there is a lot of good stuff in it, but it's difficult to find because it's so much. Um, yeah. Um, then I've also spent some time uh, working what's called skill set. The skill set, uh, I don't know, initiative or something. Uh, some kind of project where we try to map out uh, important skills when working with Drupal. Um, uh, really interesting, I think. Uh, and it's been a lot of discussion about what these skill sets are and how they relate and what should be its own skill set and what should be incorporated in other skill sets. Uh, and that's kind of difficult. You can see down here somewhere you have short descriptions of all the skill sets and then you can click on them and uh, learn more about them. Um, interesting, but also difficult to, to get consensus about something like this. Uh, then I've also had some inspiration from the site called Khan Academy, where you, among other things, can learn math. And this is like uh, different skills, or you could even call them concepts or topics, ordered in a large, large map. Uh, you, you can see that, well, some uh, prime factorization here depends on the uh, topic called prime numbers. And so and this is like huge, uh, covering uh, basically all the math you have in uh, the, well, in the U.S. school system. Uh, pretty cool. And yes, uh, this is where my uh, inspiration comes from. And the thing I feel about uh, the ladder approach on learndrupal.org is that it's very linear, too linear. It starts at one place and goes uh, to, to some kind of goal. And I think most people don't want to get uh, all the way. Most people want to uh, like learn three of these things and then jump off to something else. Uh, they might want to do all of this and even more. They might. Uh, just want one part of this because they're looking uh, for a solution to a particular problem that they have or something. Also, these uh, lessons found here uh, in the Drupal ladders uh, are kind of unconnected to other lessons. Uh, if I want to learn about the core system, I might also want to uh, well, do some other lessons, learn more stuff that is related to this, not necessarily the next step in this ladder here. And my solution to this is a distribution I've been working on myself for some time now. Um, it kind of looks like this. It's unpolished, uh, not finished, but I'm going to show you 
a bit of how it works or uh, what it looks like. Uh, on this side, uh, the learning resources is managed by topics rather than uh, uh, individual lessons. And I'm going to show you here, let's see. Uh, this is uh, just an example. Uh, you can click here. We have Drupal as like the main topic or something, and then you have subtopics. Uh, theming that contains subtopics that you can drill into like this. Yeah can click around, look at uh, subtopics, uh, what interests you most. And you can see this is um, uh, not a perfect layout. It's a module I found. It kind of works. Uh, but yeah. Uh, the main part is organizing learning material in topics. And let's see if I go into, say, Git here look at that topic uh, you can see that we have I'm going to talk about this later on but we have here learning resources actually git is not the best example let's take uh, let's take patching instead I think it's found here yeah patching we have learning resources attached to topics and I'm going to take one of these uh, learning resources. Uh, right now I have only a link to an external page and that can be changed. You build the uh, content type as, as you want to. Um, and I have some kind of preview in an iframe here. And when you look at this uh, learning resource you can also see it's uh, included in this topic. So you can go back to that topic and look at other resources uh, on the same topic and learn more. I think that's useful because uh, in my experience at least you want to uh, learn about a particular topic not uh, necessarily work towards a specified goal and if you want to do that work towards a specified goal uh, you can like finding find this goal in um, in this tree here um, yes um, I have on this site included something that is similar to the ladders on learndrupal.org. Let's see if I can find that here. Yeah. Uh, it's a content type basically just collecting these learning resources. I call them le learning resources instead of lessons. Uh, I haven't really... Uh, well, I wanted to find something as general as possible. Of course, that can be changed. Uh, and here I've then uh, added the... Uh, 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 lessons included in the this ladder on learndrupal.org. Uh, I've also added another type of collection where you collect topics instead of individual lessons or learning resources and I call this curriculum or curricula uh, because I think it makes sense to uh, be able to collect a number of topics in a course or something. Um, yes, that about the content um, when working with the skill sets, I said that it was it was difficult to find consensus about how what this map should look like, and there is actually a pretty slick solution for that here uh, uh, on the distribution I'm working with. Um, say we have here module development, and we have form a form API and patching, um, if for some reason I would think that Forms API is a part of theming, I can, let's see here, go here and then start voting on different uh, relations be between these uh, topics. So I can say that uh, Forms API should be a part of theming. Let's see if I can find theming here. Create there and we have now two relations from forms API to something else module development is still the strongest one you can see here but I vote down this one if I reload this should now be a part of theming and the tree here should be updated let's see if that's the case oops I have to find the right pixel here yeah so theming should now have forms API yeah and Forms API is no longer part of module development.
Only the strongest relation is represented in, in this tree, otherwise you'll get a huge mess. Um, I think that's useful because uh, it allows in the tool uh, to uh, uh, make maps like these dynamic because they will change eventually. Uh, even if we made a good job building this map as it looks right now, it can definitely change in the future. Um, I should also say that this is some kind of uh, uh, tree uh, showing topics and subtopics. Yeah, there is also a dependency tree, even though I haven't <clears throat> haven't really built it out, as it looks like uh, right now. But it says, well, you have to, uh, if you learn theme templates here, you can then learn preprocess function or specific template overrides, because both of these depend on learning theme templates. There are two different tree structures. Uh, you can add more uh, uh, if you want to, but that's I think these are enough. Um, yes, Th this distribution of the solution I'm working with here have, have a few weak points. Well, first, I, it's not finished. I want to add more uh, functionality to it. I want to add flags for uh, saying that I have mastered this, uh, uh, this topic, and then you can see on your profile or something which uh, topics are in your reach, so you can find things in your learning vicinity, things like that. I want to also add more vote up down functionality on learning resources and other things so you can more easily find useful or well, content that other have found useful. And you can of course add more stuff. Uh, the layout here you can discuss. Um, uh, yes, weak points. I think this uh, solution I'm building, I'm building have two weak points. One of them is this um, uh, graphing tool here that is, you can see, far from perfect. I think it's really useful to display things in um, in tree style, in a graphical tree style like this, because it makes it easier and intuitive to navigate. Uh, but it needs some love. Uh, I've had some issues with exporting the view settings, and there's also, well, display uh, issues here. Um, I've heard people saying that the vote up down uh, module. I'm using for, for these relations between topics is problematic. I have not had problems with it so far, um, but that might be a weak point as well. Um, yeah, that's about this uh, uh, site I'm working with. My idea or my suggestion, I, I would like to merge as much as possible into the uh, learn distribution. I have right now my own sandbox. Uh, containing the stuff I'm working with here um, and it's kind of silly to have separate projects for managing doing basically the same thing that's not the Drupal way so I, I would like to get as much as possible into this learn site uh, uh, learn distribution uh, if people like it uh, and, and so on uh, yeah I'd like a discussion about this and uh, to see what you think um, I would not like to maintain my own installation profile for learning, uh, creating learning resource sites. I very much like to work with others instead. Um, yeah, this learn site, by the way, it's uh, uh, one pretty important part of it is that it imports lessons uh, uh, fr from this distribution that well, this site learndrupal.org. So if you install a site locally, uh, this uh, distribution here it will pull content from this site and that's very cool uh, and I think that's useful in, in, in some ways it's not something that I've included in my own distribution at all uh, I'm just linking to to content on other sites instead but that I think can be its own feature you can turn on and off um, uh, importing of content uh, that would make sense yeah okay that's it uh, Please comment, please discuss. I'd like to talk about this. I would so much like to pour my efforts into a larger projects, into a larger project so it can be used by more and maintained by more. And yeah, see you around.